This may be a flat. Watch it be a blue or something. Flathead! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! What's up guys, Joe here with Chack Hats. Welcome to today's episode. I'm here at South Chickamauga Creek. Uh, this is the backwaters of the Tennessee River and we're going for catfish. Um, I have cut shell cracker or red ear sunfish on these rods. I was trying to go for some white bass, but all I kept catching was shell cracker on a crappie jig, but We'll take it. Um, it's a overcast day. We got good current in here. It's muddy, higher than normal. And I'm gonna show you guys how to catch a catfish from a flooded creek. So stay tuned. get that yeah that's just odd all right we're gonna use the big piece here I missed that fish We should get into them, a few of them. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop this one closer. Right there. probably a good I don't know maybe 20 or 15 20 feet something like that right underneath the dock so what makes this spot good is their structure here and this dock provides a current break which those catfish will find any break in the water to hang out in now conditions are definitely in our favor it's muddy it's high got a current we have structure i mean it's just a matter of a catfish coming to the bait at this point and getting the fish on we may have a fish on this one Maybe a flathead, the way he's acting. Yep. 
fish on. Oh no! This is getting freaking ridiculous. Huh? Huh? Uh, I mean, this is... I don't know how he came off. I mean, I reeled down and everything. Jeez. Makes me wonder if these bites are flatheads though. Makes me wonder. I mean, it could be small flatheads. Um, oh. It's definitely getting interesting now. Definitely getting interesting. I think it's like gar. It's got to be gar. I just, or turtles or something. It's just, this is. Yeah, it's just, it's got to be a turtle. This can't be any, uh, you know big fish messing with it. It's got to be a turtle or something. I pretty much got my money on this now that it's, that it's like a turtle. As soon as I put pressure on it, that's what's happening. This has got to be like a turtle. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be a turtle. Yep, it's just got to be. Put another bait on this one. You know, I thought it was flatheads at first, but now I'm really starting to believe that we got turtle activity going on. This one here is getting hit, but I'm pretty sure it's turtle. Gotta be a turtle. Gotta be a turtle. Way that thing's moving like that. It's gotta be a turtle.
Okay, now we got a fish on, I feel like. Now this is a fish. This may be a flat. Or a big turtle. Watch it be a blue or something. Flathead! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's a nice flat. Let me loosen my drag just a tad. Guys, that's my biggest flathead here. I thought it was a turtle. I missed this fish over and over, but we got him. He's gotta be in the 20s. That's a good fish. Very good fish. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! I am so excited right now. Dude, that's a tank of a flathead. These fish just dig, dig, dig. I kept missing this fish and then I finally got them. That's a Ooh, that is a tank of a flathead. I'm gonna say in the 20s for sure, I knew that. Man, this fish is just pure power. Let me get him over here. You know, I thought it was a flathead at first, but I kept missing the fish over and over again. <sighs> Look at this. Look at that. <sighs> this is my PB flathead in this spot. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know how hooked he is. It looks like it's not in the corner of the mouse, so we're gonna have to really ease him in here. I don't think it's hooked that good, guys. Oh, barely hooked. Jeez, barely hooked, and I do not have my net or anything. Barely hooked. No, he's hooked pretty good, actually. He's hooked pretty good. <laughs> yes, sir! Woo! Yes, sir! Oh, man, look at that flathead, dude. Oh, that's a beast. Yes, sir! Oh, that's a beast. Oh, look at that fish, y'all. Look at that. That's what the bite was. That's why we kept missing it over and over again. See, the way this fish was hooked was in the bottom lip, okay? Um, which, usually in circle hooks, you get them right in the corner of the mouth, but he wasn't going anywhere. He was not going anywhere. Yeah, he's gotta be, I don't know. I don't have my scales or anything, but probably uh, um, upper 20s, low 30s. Whoa, look at that fish.
fish. Look at that. I'm gonna say low 30s. Whew. Man, that water's cold. Here she goes, back to the depths. Okay, so let's put a new piece of bait on there. That was a nice flathead, y'all. I have never caught a flathead that big from this dock. Uh, and for the month of February, geez, it just does not get any better than that. I'm serious. See, I thought, I thought it was a turtle. At first, I really did think it was a flathead, just the way the takedown was going, or the way the rod was bending down. Like this rod here was going down, and it just had the same movement as a flathead would. But then it just kept coming off as soon as I'd crank on them. Um, and then this rod that was over here did the same thing. And I probably missed them like, I don't know, five or six times. And I, I then started to believe, okay, maybe it's a turtle, which you wouldn't think just based on the current and, you know, but it just really got me thinking because it had such the most subtle bite, but I knew it was on there. Um, but gosh man i just that is such an awesome fish such an awesome fish we're going to do this again it makes me wonder if there's more flatheads down here i mean my adrenaline just went out the roof <laughs> and i'm using cut shell cracker I'm going through this piece out and that came on the head piece here so this is all we're using whoa do i got a bite already i just dropped that just dropped this i'm gonna go ahead and cut up another head piece I'm just flipping these out. I'm not even casting them really. That's a PB flathead from this creek for me. Not my biggest flathead ever. My biggest is like 54, but that one's, I'd probably say low 30s. And uh, getting that in a backwater creek is really good especially for the winter time so that was a really big surprise well i didn't get anything else guys i haven't had a bite for the past hour hour 15 minutes and i don't know it's just just seems dead ever since that wind started picking up um but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and call it honestly i'm happy i'm content catching my personal best creek flathead catfish it doesn't get any better than that so i probably say that fish was a good 30 35 pounds somewhere in between there um but yeah guys i appreciate you watching um now that wrestling season is over i'll be out in the water a lot more now uh publishing videos for you guys and have some guide trips coming up as well so be on the lookout for those and for those who want to book a trip uh, with me i have my rates in the video description and just shoot me an email uh, joe.jellison at gmail.com if you're interested in booking a trip i appreciate you guys watching as always give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later